building a custom bearing puller on the uh, Baldwin milling machine. Putting in the uh, pilot hole right now. Got to raise up like this to uh, relief it so you don't get that swarf up into the chuck. Now that we have our pilot hole in it, I've switched to the half inch using a mystic metal mover, it's cutting fluid. Now you'll see a real swarf. I raise up like that, throw the chip out. It's what you call reliefing the cut. I'll do that all the way through. I've got uh, four more to do on this side and one more out here to do. Here you can see some of the chips that I'm making from the twist drill. You'll note that there's no discoloration. The uh, steel is not turning purple as it cuts it out of there. That means that I have my speed of my drill bit set just about right. Okay, we uh, drilled this hole to 1530 seconds. Now I have my tap installed. Three phases instantly reversible at the flick of a switch. So now we are going to do some power tapping. Now you'll see it go by itself. Uh, stopping is what you want, otherwise you will break your machine or your tap off in the piece. I'm gonna do several passes on this and clean my tap as I go and use plenty of cutting fluid. Now I'm going to clean the threads thoroughly, let the tap run out, run it right back in. I do this two or three times, wait for the tap to totally disappear. You have to know what's below the tap. Can't be clowning around. One more time for good measure. And we will back the tap completely out. of the four holes and then this puller will be complete. Here we have the uh, finished product. I sandblasted it, painted it so it didn't get all nasty and rusty. Won't need it very often but when you need one you definitely need one.